Hello everybody. Uh, I recently got my ham license and I've been working on building up my own uh, HF transceiver. Uh, this will be a 40 meter um, transceiver. You can see here I've got the uh, on this side here the um, preamp for the antenna followed by a mixer and then to audio. Um, I still don't have any filters um, built up so it's just these three modules right now and I've been building up the oscillator I'm just using this uh, SI5351 I bought this from Adafruit and I just wanted to discuss what I had to do to get it working because I didn't have a lot of luck um, I downloaded the libraries from Adafruit and from a few uh, scripts from other people and none of them seemed to work I would upload the files and it just wouldn't work. I would modify them, try and troubleshoot them, and this thing just wasn't working. Um, and the way, I wanted to show you just the way that I have been verifying that this has been actually functioning. I don't have a lot of equipment here at home. Um, the only access I have to oscilloscopes or spectrum analyzers is at work. But what I did was I ended up buying one of these. Uh, it's just an RTL SDR um, software defined radio, it's just a dongle. Uh, I've got it connected through USB to my computer. And um, what I did was instead of using the antenna that they supplied, which might have worked fine as well, all I did was uh, built a small pickup loop and uh, just connectorized it on a piece of a short coax. So then I can use this for uh, sniffing RF. And I've just got a uh, copper copper wire here connected to uh, the the pin for a clock zero on the SI5351. So I was using that for, for troubleshooting and uh, I finally was able to find something that works. Um, what I found to work well, just right out of the box without having to mess with code. Um, code isn't my strong suit, I'm more interested in circuits. Uh, let's see here. The guy's name, or his call sign, it's November Tango 7 Sierra. Um, I think his name is, uh, actually, I actually don't know his name. Anyway, he uh, wrote some code. It's uh, The libraries are the Ether, um, Ether Kit or something. Yeah, so he wrote some libraries. They're the Ether Kit SI5351 for the Arduino um, IDE. And uh, I adapted one of those. Um, I'm going to, I haven't done, implemented it yet, but I'm going to modify the code so that I can go up and down just with a couple push buttons here. I don't have any rotary encoders yet um, to finally control the frequency. So it'll just be a click up and down in frequency. And right now I'm just in the testing phase anyway, so it doesn't need to be particularly user friendly. Uh, currently the code just sweeps frequencies. So I'll just show you that that actually works here. Um, and feel free to ask any questions if you're having trouble with this. It was very infuriating to get working. I wasted an entire evening on it. I thought I'd have it have it going in just a, a few minutes. So let's just plug this in here. And I will switch over to video capture, but what I've done is now I've got it plugged in. And it should have boot there. It's booted now. So then I just take this sniffer probe and I just hold it close to the wire antenna. And that's enough to just uh, pick up the signal. I'm seeing it now on my desktop. And I'll, I'll just show you on the computer there, um, uh, capture. Uh, you can see that it's sweeping through frequencies, starts at seven megahertz, and it's climbing all the way up through the 40 meter ham band. Uh, and that, obviously I'm gonna add some user controls to this that I can fine tune, I can tune in on some signals to make sure that my circuitry is working. But yeah, so that's what I did to achieve that. And uh, I hope it works for you as well. I just wanted to add some additional commentary um, to the captured footage from uh, SDR Sharp. You can see some additional audio or tones lower in frequency and higher in frequency. There's a lower frequency, weaker signal there. Um, and that is, it's appearing and disappearing based on the distance that the pickup loop is from the small wire antenna. And I think that's a mixing product. So what happens is if the signal is strong enough that gets into the receiver, it mixes in the receiver and produces um, additional frequencies. But they're not real frequencies. You're not actually receiving them. 
they are simply, um, I guess you could call them image signals. Uh, they're, they're mixed signals um, in the receiver, so they go away. Um, you can see actually there's a few that are decreasing. There's one decreasing quite rapidly here from a high frequency down towards our um, our frequency yeah. of interest. So, uh, but those aren't real um, signals, and that's what can happen if the, your received signal is too strong. Uh, if I turned off the AG, uh, the um, the AGC uh, in the software, it would probably resolve that problem as well. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to note that. But this is a great little tool, especially if you don't have a spectrum analyzer. I mean, for ten bucks for the dongle, um, it's it's uh, well worth the money.